Greetings to all of our Afghan clients. This message is from your asylum legal team at Lighthouse Immigrant Advocates. We hope this message finds you in good health and spirits. This message is intended for all of our Afghan clients that we assisted with their asylum application. We want to use this video message to provide our Afghan clients with a brief update on three important topics relevant to your immigration process. The first is a general update on your pending asylum cases and the unexpectedly long wait times that many of you have encountered. The second is a brief overview of the recently announced Afghan Family Reunification Application, or Form DS-4317. While we have already contacted all of our clients who we believe to be eligible to submit this form, we want to provide an overview of the program to ensure that all of our clients understand the program its process, and any limitations on eligibility. And lastly, we want to provide all of our clients who have not yet received approval of their asylum applications with an update on our plans for the employment authorization renewal process as we near the two-year expiration date of many employment authorization cards. Let's begin with an update on your pending asylum cases. We have successfully submitted asylum applications for all of our Afghan clients. The vast majority of our clients have already attended their asylum interviews at the USCIS Asylum Office in Chicago, with only a handful of interviews still pending. We are excited to announce that we have slowly begun to receive asylum approval notices for some of our clients, and we look forward to receiving many more. Unfortunately, and as many of you are already aware, Many of our clients are still awaiting their asylum determinations, well over the expected 150 days since the date of your individual interviews. We want to assure you that these delays have been caused by a growing backlog of asylum cases in an understaffed U.S. immigration system, and that these delays are in no way indicative of problems with your asylum cases. We are confident that we will continue to receive approval notices on a steady basis. However, we unfortunately cannot provide a reliable estimate for how long we expect this process to take for our clients. If you have any questions or concerns about your specific case and your situation, you may contact our office and text us at 616-217-9217 or email us at oar at lia-michigan.org. We are always here to answer your questions throughout this process. Now, we would like to provide a brief overview of the Afghan Family Reunification Program that was announced by the U.S. government this January. As we mentioned before, we have already reached out to all of our clients that we believe to be eligible to apply for this program. However, we want our clients to be informed about this program and process. We hope that this information will help you address any questions you may have and also address any false or incorrect information you may have heard. This January, the U.S. government announced that the Afghan nationals who were admitted through the Operation Afghan Refugee Parole Program could submit an application to bring certain family members from Afghanistan to join them in the U.S. Currently, this program unfortunately only affords eligibility to spouses and minor children of the applicant, meaning that family members such as parents, grandparents, and siblings will not be eligible for the program. Once submitted, the U.S. government will first conduct background checks on the family members still in Afghanistan. Eventually, the government will reach out to the family members in Afghanistan to arrange for an evacuation to a third country where they will have a safe place to stay while background checks and immigration processing is completed. This third country will most likely be Qatar. From there, further immigration processing will be completed in the third country. Then the family members will be flown to the U.S. to be reunited with the applicant's family member. Unfortunately, the U.S. government has not provided any information regarding an expected timeline for this process. We are unable to provide a reliable estimate of how long it will take for family members to be evacuated from Afghanistan, undergo processing in a third country, and eventually be admitted to the U.S. Furthermore, 
As of now, there is no way to check on the status of an application that has been submitted. We will continue to monitor the situation and provide updates as we receive new information from the government regarding this program and expected timeframes for the process. As soon as we receive any updates on your specific case or any updates about your family member's case, we will contact you and let you know. Once again, if you have any questions or concerns about your specific case and situation, you may contact our office and text us at 616-217-9217 or email us at oar at lia michigan.org. We are always here to answer your questions throughout this process. Lastly, we want to provide information about the employment authorization renewal process and how we plan to ensure that all of our clients maintain their work authorization as we near the end of the two-year work authorization period for Afghan parolees. As we approach the second anniversary of the fall of Kabul, we expect the U.S. government to release information regarding a re-parole program for Afghans who entered under the U.S. Operation Afghan Refugee Parole Status, or OAR parole status. We have had several clients come into our office and ask if they should apply for temporary protective status or TPS. Still, we do not recommend any Afghan clients to apply for TPS because this would not renew your bridge card benefits or food stamp benefits and any other support resources provided by the government. As for your work permit, we want to ensure that you do not experience a lapse in your work permit status. Therefore, we will begin renewing work permits for our Afghan clients that entered under OAR parole. We cannot renew a work permit until 150 days or less before the expiration date on your EAD card. LIA will begin to contact those eligible to renew their work permits starting mid-May, based in the order of when your asylum application was sent to the U.S. government. For example, if you arrived in the U.S. in August of 2021 from Afghanistan, we most likely sent your asylum application before August 2022. You will be the earlier group for us to contact about renewing your work permit. If you arrived in December of 2021 and your asylum application was sent before December 2022, you can expect LIA to contact you a few months later to renew your work permit. At this time, first renewing your work permit is a safeguard as we await for the U.S. government to announce an extension of humanitarian parole status for Afghan nationals. We expect that the U.S. government will announce an extension of humanitarian parole status for Afghan nationals in the summer. However, at this time, we do not know the exact details. When the government announces the details of the process for humanitarian parole renewal, we will provide an update on our plans to complete the renewal process for all of our clients who have not yet received their asylum approval notices. For our clients that have received their asylum approval notices, the asylee status grants automatic work authorization and no work authorization renewal will be required at this time. You can show your employer your new I-94, which is the document with the blue stamp, as pictured here on the screen. This document now serves as your employment authorization. Once again, if you have any questions or concerns about your specific case and situation, you may contact our office and text us at 616-217-9217 or email us at oar at lia-michigan.org. We are always here to answer your questions throughout this process. In summary, LIA submitted all Afghan asylum applications with a small number of approvals so far. The U.S. government is taking a very long time to process them, so we all must be patient and wait for them to continue processing these applications. LIA has contacted all eligible Afghans about the DS-4317 form for Afghan family reunification. We do not have a way to check on the status of this form, so we must wait for the government to take the next steps to conduct background checks for those family members and continue through the process. We do not have a time frame of how long the U.S. government will take to reunite family members. LIA will contact eligible Afghans to renew their work permit in the order of when their asylum application was sent. 
do not apply for TPS, otherwise known as Temporary Protected Status. The U.S. government has not yet announced an extension of humanitarian parole status for Afghan nationals. Once they do, we will be in contact about what the process will look like. We hope that this information has been helpful and provides you with an idea of what to expect moving forward as you continue to navigate the immigration process. As we have mentioned before, we are always here to help and answer any questions that you may have about your case or your situation in the U.S. Please do not hesitate to reach out. We look forward to providing you with more detailed information as it becomes available to us, and we wish you all the best from your asylum legal team at Lighthouse Immigrant Advocates. Thank you.